Christine, everyone, Juniper here. Today, we're I'm gonna do a fun craft along with a book review by my crazy neighbor, Miss McGillicuddy, the librarian. Hi, Pig. I am so excited. I have two great books for you that we can get a little sneak peek at. The first book I have for you is Waltz of the Scarecrows. While visiting her grandparents' farm one summer, Sarah helped her grandma and grandpa make scarecrows. Together, they stuffed clothes with straw and sew button eyes onto pillow faces. But these are no ordinary scarecrows. Dressed in top hats and tails, ball gowns and gloves, these scarecrows look as if they are ready for a night on the town. And indeed, they are. So these scarecrows and Sarah save the day this summer, but we're not going to tell you how. You have to read your book. It has a great ending, kids, and it really helps the fall harvest when the scarecrows save the day. So here's a picture of our scarecrow that I made with Juniper, and we named the scarecrow Juniper too. This one's a fun one. We used a dollar store pom-pom hat, sewed some buttons on the face, used a pillowcase, and some wood for a little cross to put the scarecrow on. And of course, a cute boa. This is a fun little craft that you can do while celebrating the harvest season if you don't celebrate Halloween. And let's move to our next scarecrow book and then we'll do our fun scarecrow craft that you can make if you don't want to make a big scarecrow. The next book is Pebbles the Pack Rat. This book gives excellent directions on how to construct and dress a scarecrow. Pebbles builds his nest in the coat of a scarecrow guarding a farmer's garden. He is very mischievous and makes many objects in the farmer's household disappear. A precious story with excellent pictures. And... So these are two of my favorite books. Now I'm going to turn the time over to Juniper to make an awesome edible craft. Take it, Juniper! I hope you liked the book reviews. Here's what our scarecrow is going to look like. It's really cute and fun. Let me show you the items that you'll need. M&M's, fun size. Six lids, Halloween colors, or for those who don't celebrate Halloween, fall harvest colors. Skinny popsicle sticks and fake fabric leaves that you can get at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. A hot glue gun. Have your parents help you with this unless you have a low temperature hot glue gun. Scissors and orange foam that you can get from the dollar store to cut out your pumpkins. And permanent markers to draw your scarecrow faces. So let's get started. First you're going to draw your jack-o'-lanterns and then you're going to cut them out. So now let's cut out our scarecrow faces. So now let's draw our faces. Not all faces are created equal, so you might have two different shapes of a face. Here's my pumpkins. I'm going to add a little fire. You don't guys don't have to do this though. So just add a little glue and some glitter and you'll have a glammed up scarecrow face. So here's our glamping scarecrow face. It's so pretty. First we're going to hot glue the popsicle stick onto the M&Ms but make sure not to melt them. First you're going to take your leaf and bend the top part over and cut a little slit, just a little one, and then put it over your popsicle stick like so. Then flip it over and put a little bit of glue there so it holds it down. In place. Uh huh. Now take your pumpkin head and glue it onto the stick. We did two leaves to make it extra fancy, but you do not have to do that. In the spirit of keeping it simple. Now's the tricky part. We're going to put the arms and legs on. You'll need four six slits. So just put a little dab of glue in each corner and then put your six slits on each corner on the glue. 
but you don't, don't need much glue. You just do each corner. It's very tricky, but it turns out good. And just glue that sucker down. So here's our scarecrow. This is such a fun craft. And you can give it out as a boo or just keep it for a treat. Please subscribe, like, and share. My mom will stop videoing me doing these crafts because she's getting tired. So please send these to your friends and have them subscribe too. I hope you like this craft. And once we get 500 subscribers, we will turn on the comments.